Hey there, what's up? This is TechCraft. So in this video, I'll be teaching you how to create a type on text effect in Adobe After Effects. Now, this is my first tutorial on, on Adobe After Effects, and I'll be using Adobe After Effects CS4 in this video, which is probably an outdated version. So I'm sure that this effect works on other versions of Adobe After Effects as well. Well, anyway, let's preview this effect. So now let's get started. Firstly, create a new composition. Press Ctrl and on your keyboard, or just go to Composition, and then cl click on New Composition. Now, give a name to the composition. For example, I'll give it a name. Type on text, and now a new composition will be created. Now you now the next step is you need to choose a background for your composition. To do that, just go to Composition and click on Background Color. Now choose your ba choose a background color. For this video, I'll be choosing this color. However, you can choose any color of your choice. Now, now once you have done changing the background color, you have to insert a text to this. And to do that, just click on the horizontal type tool, press Ctrl T on your keyboard, and drag this text tool like this. And now I'll be giving it a white font because uh, the white text will be suitable for this background. Now I'll be typing a sample text like this. For example, this type, this text will be typed. And after you you have done typing the text, move move this box to the edges of the text like this. And then you can position your text to wherever you want. I'll I'll position it to the center of the screen like this. Now after that, you need to create a mask for your text. To do that, just go click on the rectangle tool and drag this rectangle tool along the text just like as just like as i do here and you can see as you drag this rectangle tool you will see your text starts appearing on the screen and once the full text appears on the screen just release the um, rectangle tool and then you can see here a new mask has been created with a default name mask one now extend this mask one and then you will see four properties under it now you need to keyframe the function which says mask path so just click on stopwatch symbol at the left side of it and then press ctrl t on your keyboard and then you have i mean bring this control to the starting of the your timeline and then press ctrl t on your keyboard and then adjust this such that nothing is visible and now i go to some one seconds or two seconds i mean it all depends on you if you want to if you want the text to be typed in one second then go to one second I mean then skip to one second and if you want or if you want to if you want the text to type in to be typed in in two seconds skip the video to two seconds so I'll, I'll I want the text to be typed in in one second so I'll skip to one second and I'll create a keyframe again so I mean I'll click control T on your keyboard on my keyboard and then extend this such that the whole text is visible again so So just like that, now let's preview how this looks like. So you can see the text is, is typed in. I mean, it, it got a type in type on effect. And then you gotta create a blinker to the text here. So to do that, you go to the comp, you, you go to layer and then click on new and then select shape layer. And now a new shape layer will be created just like this with the default name shape layer one. You can re you rename it to blinker. Now after you do that, drag the rectangle text just like this, such that it looks like a cursor. Now position it just at the starting of the text. And now you gotta make changes to this blinker. Just select blinker and then click on P on your keyboard. This will bring a function. Uh, named position now we need to keyframe this position so just click on the stopwatch symbol and then after the text is completely typed i mean after one second or so skip the video to one second or so like this and then you gotta 
you got this you should you should bring this cursor to the end of the text so just bring it to the end of the text just like this and now let's preview this so that's perfect right well the next thing you got, you need to do is that you need to add a you need to add a blinking effect to the cursor to do that just just select blinker and then click T on your keyboard this will bring a function named opacity now you need keyframe that opacity and then give the, give its value to 0% and then and then move this uh, slightly and then give it to 100% and then move this slightly a bit and then give it 0% you need to repeat this until the text is fully typed So after that is done, let's preview this, how it looks like. So that's perfect, right? Yeah, that's perfect. So that's it, you have done creating a type on text effect in your LOF effects. So that's it, this will be the end of the video. So thanks for watching, if this video really helped you, then don't forget to subscribe to me. And also please do like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techraj156. Now if you have any doubts regarding this video then feel free to comment comment your doubts in the comment section below. I'll make sure that, you, that, I'll, that I'll help you by replying you. Now you can ask me for new tutorials by emailing me at anonymousHacker156 at the red gmail.com. However, I'll put my email in the description too. So thanks for watching. Cheers.